In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing uh, Blue White Gideon or Azorius Gideon. I don't know if this community, I'm sure it probably does use the magic terms, but there are some people that don't play magic that play this game, so I don't want to just say Azorius. Um, I've been getting a lot of, uh, maybe not a lot, but I've seen like three or four comments of people wanting me to play specifically Gideon, and then a few that specifically want me to play Blue White Gideon. And this is kind of my take on the archetype. I know it's not typical, I know people like to do the, the spawning fish thing with the Paragon of, of Grace, whatever it's called. Um, I'm just not really into it, uh, I'm not into the fair fight combo either. Um, it just seems kind of silly to want to like curve out really aggressively to me and then uh, draw like these key pieces. Um, I'd rather have like a strategy that's more um, complete and doesn't rely on like certain pieces if that makes sense, it's just kind of how I, how I play games. Also, um, I'm a huge fan of Spirits and Magic the Gathering, and this is basically as close as I can get to Spirits. Maybe like a Teferi blue-white build would be pretty similar, but the tempo that Gideon gives really makes it feel like Spirits to me, and that's why uh, I actually enjoyed playing this deck today. I didn't think I would, to be honest. Um, so I picked the Training Yard just because I want some more gas if we get board wiped and I need to just slam out some more guys, right? And um, our hand should be almost completely played out by turn 5, so it's not a big deal if this procs early, which is why I don't mind running it in Gideon. Then we have Oath of the Paladin. Excuse me, so uh, Faithful Steed is a 1-2 uh, creature, uh, Divine Smite, uh, excuse me, that's the next card it gives you. Debut, give a friendly creature uh, plus 0, plus 1. So you can put it on one of your flyers. Um, to get it out of the range of certain cards like Drain Blood, Shock, um, Lava Coil, uh, Damaged and Drain Base Removal, right? So you can just kind of strategically uh, put this somewhere, and it actually ends up mattering a decent bit, probably. So uh, the Divine Smite is actually really strong because um, it gives you just like a guaranteed removal spell that you can hold potentially the entire game until your opponent has an opposing flyer that you can then answer. So I really like the Divine Smite. And then you end up with the Aura of Courage as the last spell, cost 5. For the rest of the game, after Friendly Creature Attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 1. That goes really well if you have a board of flyers, right? You can just do a lot of extra damage that they're not expecting. We're playing uh, the cheapest flyer we can, Lingering Spirit, because we're just trying to attack with three things and proc Gideon as much as possible. And if they don't have flyers or removal, they're going to stay around and it's going to be annoying. That's why we are playing these shields up as the only trap in the deck, just to um, maybe trade with their flyer or um, uh, block if we need to and not lose our flyer. Uh, Silver Griffin, two costing, one three. It just has a big defense stat and it's just going to stay on the board, right? And so we can proc off the Gideon. Blink Dog Pack is just a way of getting multiple creatures out. Um, you know, to proc Gideon or to just start chumping while you're continuing the onslaught in the air. Devoted Steed is particularly good when you have a bunch of flyers because you're going to buff a flyer with it, right? And then we have the Frontline Paladin, just another sticky creature to proc Gideon as much as possible. We're playing the uh, Welkin turn because it's just a 2 drop 2-2 two, two flyer. Paragon of Balance set the power of all of the creatures to their current health. So sometimes uh, it will actually help us out. So it can make Griffin, you know, have three power. Um, it can make this a lot bigger if it's, you know, undamaged. It makes this bigger. Um, you know, it can make Stoneforge Mystic bigger. So I think it's useful enough and it's well, <coughs> excuse me, it's well statted enough. Let's see, we're running the uh, Chapel Geist, three drop, two, three, Flyer, nothing special about it, but it fits perfectly into this deck. Uh, Regna, I don't know how you say that. Redeemer, uh, three cost, three one, prevent all damage. It would take during your turn. It's really just another flyer. And then uh, we're running the Gideon's Veteran again. It's just another armor creature that's sticky. Stoneforge Mystic because we want to buff our flyers. This this deck is very linear, guys. There's not much to it. Uh, Path to Exile, destroy an enemy creature, your opponent gets an empty mana gem, we're only running uh, this and the Divine Smite because we're never going to get it, so that it, it feels pretty correct to me just to run the two Path to Exile. And we're running the Path to Exile because Smite the Monsters has to, has to be 5 or higher, and 
there could just be a pesky flyer in the way that we just want to get rid of, right? And then we have Phantom Warrior. It always has sneak, so it's basically just a super flyer. So that's why we're running it. And then the last one is the Martial Aerialist. Three costing, two four, flying ward. It's exactly what we want. It's guaranteed going to stay a turn unless you get wiped. And it's statted very well in the uh, defense department. And that's exactly what we want because we want them to stick. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And thank you for watching. All right. Um, they're going to have removal galore. I just don't think this deck is is viable. Like We might be able to get them if they stumble a little bit because we have the flyers, you know, but... Uh, for you to win it all. I don't have that much confidence. Now that makes me a little bit more confident. Alright, so we need some early cards, please. Alright, two, three, and we could possibly draw the doggy. So, we'll see. What do you? Alright, hopefully that solved the problem. See? Nope. No. Sorry, OBS is being very laggy today. We did not draw the puppy. Which is unfortunate. They're of course playing School of the Wizard. A fellow seeker. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so Griffin. I'm probably just gonna go Aerialist since it has Ward. If I block, they could very well just have shock, but not much I can do about that if they do. Hmm. All right. Yep. It is not boating well. Alright, and of course we can't double spell again. You go low, even though go our high. entire deck's mega cheap. So I'll just play the thing that I know is going to be around for at least one turn. And then next turn I'm probably going to play uh, Veteran and Steed just because it's harder to get rid of Veteran. Let's try and get through this. You. Okay. So now we can play veteran. Just like old times. And I'm gonna steed the two four so that way it can't get flame coiled like the other thing, right? Okay, just in case he has the second one too. Uh, and a chasm here isn't the end of the world because I still keep two of my creatures. So we'll see. Naturally. Now I'm worried about a chasm because I have to probably play two things out and then just see. Like if I just play one thing at a time, he can just remove one thing at a time and then Gideon like never procs, right? Boundless potential. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, there's a shock. There's the chill wind. Alright. This feels like I'm playing right into what they want me to do, but I literally have no choice. Okay, at least that's a little bit of a slower turn. If he has a shock, then I'm, you know, there's just no hope. Obviously not going to give up my creature. I want Gideon to proc at least once this game. That'd be nice. Okay. 
Strike them down. We fight as one! I got this. You're <laughs> wide open. <laughs> Just like we practiced. Alright. That was a really hard punch. Because he can draw two more cards. He's at six. If he has a zero cost and a mana surge, doesn't that get him to Lava Wave? Well... Yeah. Or, or, or just two mana surges. <laughs> That'll do it too. Oh, Mastery. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. Don't care about that. I figured there was two of them because that would just be, you know, the nuttiest thing they could do. I want to know everything. Of course, three blockers, right, guys? Excuse me, four blockers. Okay, that would just greatly weaken me. So we're gonna do this. We are just gonna swing because we have no choice. We fight as one. And the only thing that he can block that really matters is this, and it won't die anyway. Take this. You're wide open. Just like okay. Um, set the power of all creatures equal to their current health. That helps me. It weakens these two, but I think I need the body. Hey, heart, be strong. Maybe I should have played it before, just so this dealt two more. But then this wouldn't be as weak, right, for the sneak damage. And this wouldn't be as weak either, so I do think it was right to do it after. This had better be worth my time. Well, that's not, uh... Unless he gets another shock, which... I think he already used two of them. Yep. I'm gonna have two attackers. Uh... Yeah. Inspire them. All right. We fight as one. So if he blocks the biggest flyer, which he will, that's two. And then block, block. Is he dead? Or is he at one? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll just wait. I don't even feel like thinking right now. Is that Exaxes? Wow. We actually got the game. That's insane. I was not expecting that. I'll take it. Let's see if we can somehow squeeze out another miracle. Um, I mean, like I keep saying the flyers, but they might actually get us there because we we're in control of when we want to block. So we can get them really low and then start jumping and get the last bit of damage through. It's kind of like how spirits play in Magic. When you verse other aggressive decks. Yeah, one, two, three. I'm never putting that back, right? This is this is almost the dream here. <laughs> Want me to go easy on your zombies? Not a chance, Meat Slab. What do you fight for? Meat Slab. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna go with the flying plan over the steed plan. Liliana is never uh, highly interactive. Oh, of course I say that, and of course they actually have something interactive. Amazing. Love it. Is this some kind of trap? 
Okay. Um, yeah, I'm playing the one with Ward. Just gotta build some kind of board as quickly as possible, and then I can drop these two next turn. Yeah, that's cute. No one cares. Also, this doesn't die to another drain blood or something really easy like that. Yeah, see, like this would have died to that, right? Okay, so I think we go uh, Steed, right? You won't stand alone. Not Steed. Um, oh, it is Faithful Steed. It's just a dog that's ginormous. Okay. Oh, it's Faithful Steed and Devoted Steed, I see. And then we're going to do another beefier flyer. I'm not even going to swing with this next turn. I'm just going to swing with the flyers if they're all here still. Yeah, don't care. Of course they have infest. Like what the heck, dude? What what is what am I playing against? Liliana with infest. Naturally. Let's gear up. you <laughs> Uh, drain blood and infest Liliana. I'm keeping my stuff healthy. Sure. Okay. Um, I'll attack. We fight as one. The sky calls. Okay, cool. Now I can just divine smite this thing. Just like we practice. Play this down. now, Together, we are and I'm um, just gonna continue to ignore this thing. If he has another infest, I'm, I'm probably just gonna scoop. Figures. I could use some fresh subjects. Wow, don't know if I can race this. We fight as one. Do 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 do. Are you just gonna take it? And then gain your incremental health back. Just like we practiced. Okay, so we can do this. If I path, it just comes back bigger and I can't block it anyway. So I'm gonna save the path maybe for um, if they ever have like a flying blocker. And one of these guys is just gonna block the 7-7. Seven, seven. And then I'm just gonna keep blocking with the three flyers and hope that does something. If I draw the one that buffs everything, then the flyers could be a real problem. If he had infest, he would have done it already. But I'll block I'll block one and then pass. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's see what we get. Let's gear up. Uh, sneak. We're gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. 
Hmm. I guess it's the first time they could be blocked, right? And this can't be blocked, so I might as well get the extra bonus. Spread it around a little bit. Yeah, I think that's correct. We fight as one! Makes sense. You. Just like we practiced. Okay. If I if he doesn't answer my flyers and has a way to block them, and I top deck the um, the last signature spell, I win, right? Liliana's incremental life gain. I think they'd be at like one or two right now. I'm not even going to block this because I want to keep my 3-4 healthy. I can do this, however. Take seven. I guess this is lethal even without the um, the spell, right? Yeah, that doesn't matter. There we go, we got it. So it's exactly like I was saying, you just... Um, you kind of control when you want to block and when you don't, when you have the flyers. That's exactly how Spirits plays in uh, Magic the Gathering. Alright guys, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.